Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James and this is my Cuddlefish Location Guide to Subnautica. Now in Subnautica there are five of these little fish to collect. It's not necessary to complete the game in order to collect them but I think it's a really great extra bonus and if you want that achievement and all five of the fish I'm going to show you where they're all located in this short guide. So starting at life pod 13, when you do get the coordinates for Emissary Kassar's last known location, it's going to bring you to the mushroom forest and this giant tree. The life pod is literally just next to this tree and you're just looking for a little opening on the outside. Now this is not actually the creature egg that we're looking for, I'm not actually quite sure which one that was, but the first egg that I'm going to show you it's just sat on top of this little mound just here. Now the next two eggs are quite easy to find and you should find them along with the story. When you get to find where the second base for the Degasi is, there will be an egg just on the floor in this little laboratory here. You're going to need to scan the containment facility and in this room there's also an orange key. Now you're going to use that orange key in the Lost River and there's an alien door just opposite a giant skull. Again, the story is going to show you these locations naturally, but inside this room, just on top of an alien table, you'll find the third creature egg. The next two eggs are a little bit harder to find, so I'm going to show you without making a cut in a video that you need to find Life Pod 17 in the Grand Reef. This is just on the edge of the Grand Reef and you will also see a giant piece of the Aurora ship. We need to head in a northwesterly direction out towards Reaper Leviathan country. Now I highly recommend that you equip the Seamoth with the sonar capability to do this so you can pinpoint where the Leviathans are while you're scavenging out this way. There will be reef backs above you, but that does not make you safe in this region. So once you come down this little gully here, following me along here, you want to keep an eye out for that leviathan. Now we just want to head out in the northwest direction. Your next marker is going to be this little piece of crashed ship here. At the moment I can't see any reapers so we're all good. We'll just carry on over the top of this crashed piece of ship. And we're looking for a little archway. There we go. And I think I just saw a reaper in the top right or top left hand corner there just behind a, this archway. And I think it's pretty much sat above where I want to get to. So I'm just going to come around the outside. We're looking for a, a big crater. Might just be a little bit past that. I'm going to go around him. Or her. As all of the sea creatures in this game are female. You can see it's a little bit difficult to give you any landmarks other than that crash piece of ship and the archway. If you hit the mushroom biome like we was there, you'll know you've come out too far. Okay, so this is what we're looking for, this giant pit down here. Now, if you haven't got the armor that insulates you from the heat, you will take a tiny bit of damage when you jump out of the seam off here. But the fourth egg is right in the center of all of this here. Okay, and for the fifth and final location, this one again is a little bit hard to take you to, but if you can find Life Pod 6, and you will get a message for Life Pod 6, it won't give you the location, but it will give you a picture. Now, it's kind of in the center of the Grand Reef, directly to the south of the Aurora, so I'm just going to poke my head above water so you can see I'm kind of in the middle of the Aurora. And you're looking for Life Pod 6, and there's this giant piece of crashed ship here as well. So, if you look to our left, there's a rock that kind of looks like Gondor. 
if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, I think that kind of comes out. It'd be a good base location there. But this is on the edge of the mushroom biome. And we're going to come out towards the centre of these mushrooms from Life Pod 6. We're going to make a turn just at there. And the next landmark we're looking for is an alien vent. There we go. So from Life Pod 6 to the Mushroom Forest and from the alien vent we're just going to come around the side of this mountain here. I need to find parts of the Cyclops around here. And we're just going to come in here and round to the left. There's this little hole here. Now I recommend that you get your seam off into this hole as far as you can so you've got some lights shining in and if we just turn around we can see the lights clearly and we need to go down and there's another little hole just here and down again which will bring us directly on top of the fifth and final egg now getting out of here it can be a little bit tricky but just come up to the center look directly up We've left the seam off lights on so the little path we need to go through is going to be lit up just here. And that's all I've got. That's how you get all five of the cuttlefish eggs. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you enjoy guides and tutorials that I'm doing. I also do content on Ark Survival Evolved as well as more guides on other survival games. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.